Hey everyone, uh, it's Mr. Montgomery again. We did so much for, well, two weeks. We covered so many things in Unit 5. We went through adding doubles, doubles plus ones, doubles plus twos. We uh, talked about how to make tens in addition problems to make adding easier for us. And we even, uh, oh man, we added three numbers together. And we did story problems to add three numbers together. And we even did two-step story problems. We did so much. So to make sure we don't forget any of this, we don't want to forget a single thing, we're going to do our review today. Okay, so make sure you're on the right page. You should see two blue towers that make a doubles fact. And you should see four addition number sentences underneath of it. So I'll give you a quick second, make sure you're on the correct page. And let me make sure I have a fun color. Um, yeah, blue is always good. All right, so you should all be on the same page by now. And let's read the instructions together. It says, add, then circle the doubles, only the doubles. Okay. So, real quick, let's do the first one together. We're going to add 8 plus 8. Now, there are a couple ways we can do this. You could use a number line if you like. Or um, you could use touch math if you know how to use touch dots. Or some of us just memorize our doubles facts. So, I'm actually going to use... These little touch dots I really like to use. I kind of, I don't always draw them, but I know where they belong, and that's how I use them. So since it's 8, I'm just going to make one pattern. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I counted all those dots. And I, it's just kind of counting on. So we learned that... 8 plus 8 is 16, right? Some of us already knew that, and that is awesome. Now we have to think, is this a doubles fact? Because if it is, what did the directions say to do? They say to add the sentence, then circle. Circle the doubles facts. And 8 and 8 are the same number, so it is a doubles fact. So we need to circle the whole problem. Circle the whole thing. Okay, now go ahead and by yourself do number two, three, and four. First add them, and then if it's a doubles fact, make sure you circle it. All right, I'm going to give you guys just a couple more seconds. All right, uh, if you're still not finished and you need some more time, go ahead and hit that space bar on your keyboard. That's the long rectangle button with nothing written on it. That's the space bar, and that will pause the video for you, okay? But if you're all done, and you want to check your answers, awesome. Let's go over these together. Okay, so for number two, we have six plus one. So we're just going to count on from six, right? Six, and then one more is seven. So six plus one is seven. Is this a doubles fact? Nope, so we're not going to circle it. But make sure you're checking your answers as... Um, we do them right now, okay? Make sure you have the right answers, and then think about where you made a mistake if you did make a mistake. Okay, our next one is 2 plus 9. So I'm going to count on from the big number and jump two spaces. 
because that's what I find to be the easiest. I always find it easier to start with the big number and then just jump the small spaces. So 9, 10, 11. So 2 plus 9 is 11. And is 2 and 9, is that a doubles fact? No. So we're not going to circle that one. And let's look at number 4. We have 5 plus 5. Well, some of us already memorized that one. And it, from uh, my reactions in the classroom, I'm pretty sure we all have. Because that's a, that's a fun one. 5 plus 5 is 10. And is 5 and 5 a doubles fact? It sure is. So make sure you circle that one. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a second. And uh, let me get the next page up. Okay, so the next page you want to be on has two blue towers, but one has a red block on top. And you'll see a monkey sitting next to it. And you'll see problem number five at the bottom. So I'll give you a second to make sure you're on the right page. All right. So. Let's read these directions together. It says, add the doubles, then use the doubles to help you add. So we're doing a doubles, then a doubles plus one fact. And if you remember, we first do our doubles fact, and then we see which number is more and by how much. So this six is only one more, so you know the answer is just going to be one more. So I'll give you guys a second. Solve both parts. And then we'll go over this together. All right, so that should have been enough time. Let's go over number five. And we actually just did five plus five on the last page, right? So we should all, this should be fresh in our heads already. We should all know this right now. Five plus five is 10. And then all they did for this one over here, they took the same five and put it there. And then instead of another five, they, made, they put a six, which is just one more. So if the 6 is just one more than that 5, how much more do you think our answer is going to be from our last one? Just 1. And we know that 1 more than 10 is 11. All right. So next, do number 6 all on your own. And I will give you a minute, and then we're going to go to the next page. Okay, I think that might be enough time. If not, and you still need some more time, go ahead, hit that space bar again. It's that very long rectangular one with no writing on it on your keyboard. Okay? So, and that will pause the video for you, and then you would just hit that space bar again to, hit for, to have the video play. Uh, I'm not going to go over this one. Instead, when this video is over and you're done everything, you're going to hand me your paper and I'm just going to double check over it to make sure you know exactly what we're doing. Okay? Okay, so make sure you're on the next problem, which is number seven. Okay, and you will see a addition sentence that says seven plus eight 
and has a 10 frame next to it filled with yellow counters. So I'll give you guys a quick second to turn to that page. All right, so let's look at this. Let's read the, these instructions together. Draw the counters, then write the sums. So the first thing we have to do, we have to draw the counters in this 10 frame. We're going to draw these counters together because this is actually going to be on your test. So I want to make sure that we are not confused about how to draw the counters on here. Because I know that everyone can do 10 plus 5, but I want you to see the relationship between the 10 plus 5 and the 7 plus 8. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 yellow counters, which is this top number here, right? But now we need to fill in 8. We need to fill in these 8 because as there's other part. And you can just use your pencil. I'm going to use a uh, fancy blue color so it really stands out. Okay, so let's draw together. Let's start from here. So we're going to count all the way up to eight. Ready? One, two, three. And since we already filled up this 10 frame, we're just going to keep drawing below to show that it's different. That's a different part. So we stopped at three. Uh, let's keep going. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. And then we can see now that this whole 10 frame that we filled up gives us this problem down here. So I'm going to give you a second to complete these two addition number sentences on your own. And this part we are not going to review together afterwards. Instead, you're going to hand it to me at the end of class. And we, I will go through, check, and we can go through together to make sure you did everything correctly. So go ahead and do 10 plus 5 and then 7 plus 8. All right, I think that might be enough time. If not, don't forget you have that space bar. You can just tap that real quick to pause the video. And then when you're all ready, you just tap that space bar again to play the video. All right. But I will say this before we move on. That whatever you get for 10 plus 5. Remember, we use the same amount of counters. So, so the answer that you put here and the answer that you put here should be the same. If they are different, check your work because we made a mistake somewhere, okay? We have the same amount of counters. We have seven yellow and eight blue counters. We just moved them around a little bit to create a 10 plus five because that's easier to add. But So it, this answer should be the same as this answer. If not, pause the video right now and check your work, all right? If not, we are going to move on. All right. And next we have problem number eight, which is a story problem. So make sure you are on problem number eight. I'll give you a second to make sure you're on the right page. All right. Now, in this story problem, we can look at the number sentence that they set up for us um, already, and we can tell that there. this is going to be adding three numbers together. Some of us had a little bit of a hard time with this. Some of us thought it was pretty easy. Let's make sure we read this very, very carefully. Okay? 
Um, let's see, let's read the instructions first to make sure we're doing everything correctly. It's very, very important. Write a number sentence. Find the best way to group the add-ins. Now, to me, there's not really a best way. It's whatever is easiest for you to stay organized, to know which numbers you've already used when you add. So let's read the story problem together and circle the important things that we hear. There are some fish in a pond. Ah, not really anything important yet. There are five redfish. Well, you know what? That sounds pretty important. I'm going to circle that five. Or five orange fish. That sounds pretty important too. I'm going to circle that. And nine blue fish. That also sounds pretty important. How many fish are there in all? And we're practicing circling the important words also that tells us if we're going to add or subtract because later on when we're in second grade and we're big second graders, there's going to be no problems that tell us that we're adding and, or subtracting just like it's set up here where they already give us the plus sign. They're not going to do that for us all the time. So we need to make sure that we can look at the special words that tell us if we're going to add or subtract. And in all are special words that tell us that we are going to add. So that's why we have these plus signs right here. And if we look back at what we did, we circle three numbers, five, five, and nine. So those are our special numbers that we need to put into our addition sentence. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have five, five, and nine. Now the first part of this I'm going to do with you because I know some of us got confused and that's okay. That's why I'm going to do the first part with you and then you're going to do the next part on your own. So what I like to do so I'm going to draw a little line just like this. Like, Oh, let me make a better one. So first I want to add these two fives. Because when I add three numbers together, I just like to take the first two and it helps me stay organized. The first two numbers first. So five and five, well that's going to make ten down here. And then we have to take this number and bring it on over and keep them company. So ten plus nine. Now go ahead and solve the rest of this on your own. Okay, and if you are all done, you can go ahead and close the Chromebook that you're using, and uh, you can come see me, and we'll check those other problems that you did all on your own to make sure that we feel comfortable with this math unit and that we are all good to go. All right, so I will talk to you all soon.